Well, the Boston Authors Club is distinguished, I think, as the oldest continuous such club in the United States. There was another one formed in New York in 1882, but it ultimately fizzled out. As for the reasons of its success, for its success, I think there are several. For one thing, it had the very strong-minded Julia Ward Howe pressing for it. Who had been, she had been a fixture in the Boston Reform community for years and uh, was particularly tough-minded. Another reason was that uh, Boston had a club culture, probably more per capita than any other city in the United States. So to fit an author's club into that mix was a natural thing to do. Um, the model was the British eating clubs, which had simply been male retreats, essentially, not given to anything very uplifting. But Boston is big on edification, so the clubs here tended to have some kind of focus. The St. Badal's Club was in the arts. The St. Vincent's Club was for women. That came a little bit later. The City Club was for politics. The Clover Club was for the Irish and so forth. And the uh, Boston Authors Club fit into that general framework. I think, too, a re reason for its success is simply Boston's longtime commitment to culture. We still like to call ourselves the Athens of America which is a bit pretentious, but we also have an Athenaeum, so I guess that qualifies us in a, in, in a way. So there were many, many people here who were, in, who were involved in literature and could become members of the club, which they hastened to do. I think also there was a sense among the few college graduates that they wanted places to go, hence the formation of the university club and then the college club, which was strictly for women college graduates. And uh, I think it was more than fortuitous that the Authors Club formed a relationship early with the college club, which continues. And we hope to make it more fruitful this year. They've reached out to see if we can enhance our, our relationship, which I'm really looking forward to. So I think it's the combination of those factors. I'll throw in one other, and that is that in Boston, the idea that it's an author's club would ever go away is sort of unthinkable. You know, we, we're rather traditional here. Once it's established, it will march on forever. But it fits, you know, and I think it's been a useful addition. Thank you for listening. Please review our other available content for help writing, publishing, and marketing your book. If you have any questions about the Author Learning Center, please contact us by email at authorsupport at authorlearningcenter.com.